Hello, Roll Mithril here once again. It's spooky month, so hey, let's do something spooky and do a run of World of Horror. It's been a while. The game hasn't actually updated since last time I've played, but I mean, there's still plenty to do. I did gain a bit of knowledge, though, from watching Vinny over at Vine Sauce play this again for Halloween. Avoid the revolver at all costs. Apparently, the revolver item is not fully implemented in the game yet. Picking it up, all it does is it eats an inventory slot. As in, you can't even put it in storage. You can't do anything with it. So don't grab the revolver. Okay, so that being said, new story. I have some ideas of what I kind of want to work with this time. We'll see how well any of it works out. Uh, we're just going to use this random seed here. Hvwubba. I'll hail the car, as is tradition. Okay. So, first choice. We have gotten through the game with Kyrie, Aiko, Haru, we finally got the Yakuza driver through this, Koji, and Mimi. So the only playable character that I currently have that we have not finished a run with is Mizuki Hamasaki, teen idol. What a strange world we live in, where stopping an ancient evil is the easiest way of boosting your career. So we have more charisma, but less strength, and we start with a random ally. So we also have backstories. What was the last one we had? Ill-fated. You were born under a bad moon, all event skill checks automatically fail. Because, I mean, we gotta complete this to move on with more backstories, right? <sighs> we gotta face this at some point. Because, see, it's a bit of a trade-off, thinking about it. We know we are going to fail every skill check. So, outside of whatever is our better weapon stat, we don't really care about stats, so leveling up is pretty much just go for free reason or stamina. We don't need to bother with any of our other stats, I don't think. So I guess we can see how this goes. Also, let's go over to timeline B. Okay. Alright, so we still just have four old gods. There is an extra one that you can unlock somehow in the game, at least one, I believe. I want to say the other old gods that were originally part of this game just got cut out, because I think it was originally a total of seven, but two of them got cut. One just was never really fully implemented, and one was cut for being uh, too close of a Junji Ito reference that they thought, eh, maybe we ought to take this out. So, yeah, I don't actually know how to get the fifth old god, though. Not looking for answers just yet. Remember, this is kind of a semi-blind project overall, so once I really want help unlocking stuff, I will ask, okay? So let's see what we have here as far as the old gods. If I'm gonna constantly be losing health and reason and everything, I don't think I want the inability to run from combat. That seems like it's just asking for trouble. I feel like this might be the safest one to go with, because it's rare I bother using spells anyway, so this is kind of a non-effect for me. Because, yeah, if thought to is just everyone has more attack, you and enemies. What was it that the mirror does again? Resting increases doom penalties. So, yeah. Let's go with the towering eye. Okay. Ill-fated. You were born under a bad moon. All event skill checks automatically fail. 
Doesn't that sound delightful? Okay, so we've got five strength, six dex, uh, six knowledge, eight charisma, six perception, four funds. We start with 17 stamina and 18 reason. Safety in numbers. Status personal, why did you sign that contract? Plus one max reason. At the end of the mystery, if you don't have at least two followers, lose two reason. He's looking for you. So we need to make sure we get an extra follower because we apparently do start with one. We start with Maria. Ally, Haunted Artist, plus one cigarette for each defeated enemy. Let me paint that. So, uh, <laughs> you'd be really good for Haru, I guess. <laughs> I, I don't know that I want to start a smoking habit because I don't think I get any benefit from that. Okay. The city is changing so fast you can barely recognize it anymore. So what all do we want? Oh right, there was the weird thing that if you have vending machines selected, it's the police station that shows up. But if you have police station set up, I guess the vending machine shows up, so let's do that. I never really used the police station. I know it's something like you sell experience there, I guess, but I kind of want the level ups. Want the illegal den. Okay, that's probably fine. Mailbox is empty. Okay. Let's see, library notes. Wait. How do I already have 133 experience? I can already level up? What? That's weird. Anyway, let's see what we have here. Gain a random spell, lose one to two reason. I don't think I really want that. That's going in storage for now. Okay, quick thinking, fame, or parting gift. So quick thinking is plus one dex, Always a way out from seemingly hopeless situations. Fame. Faster combat actions for each ally you have. And we want to have allies with her. That sounds good. Doesn't give us any extra stats, but we don't really care about those. Parting gift. Letting allies go grants a permanent bonus to one of your stats. Ordinarily, that would be good, but our stats really don't matter because we're bound to fail everything we try. So I'm gonna go with fame. Our stamina and reason, they're currently full. It looks like we lean toward knowledge, so let's go ahead and start boosting knowledge more as far as our, uh, just for our weapon usage. Because, yeah, I'm guessing even luck is going to be useless if all our skill checks are going to fail. So, yeah, let's go with this. Okay. Uh... Go ahead and get our extra fund. What costumes do we have? Aspiring Idol. Innocent Student. The Collection. Yes or no? Make a choice. Rebel outfit. Kinda like that one. Star. Exactly what it says on the tin. And skeleton. <laughs> I can't tell if I like that one or not. <laughs> I think the rebel outfit is my personal favorite that I have. 
Something about it kind of looks Silent Hillish to me. I'm okay with that. All right. So yeah, we can go ahead and take a bath just to get some free experience. So yeah, warm water. Because that stamina we can't gain anymore since we're at max. Same for reason. Okay. So yeah, that has us at 38 experience for now. Alright. Let's see what we have. Okay, Horrible History of Household Hell. Chilling Chronicle of a Crimson Cape. We've gotten both endings for that one. Curious Case of a Contagious Coma. We've gotten both endings there. Far Out Fable of a Fear Festival. We're missing ending C for that one. So, basically the worst ending. And Freaky Feature of Found Footage. We're missing the best ending on that one. Hmm. So, let's just go ahead and get going. Okay, so, yeah, we have done all of these mysteries before, obviously, because we had at least one ending for each. So, yeah, this is the one where we eventually get to the mansion in the woods, and it's where we can summon an Elder God, which I'm guessing maybe has something to do with that fifth Elder God that we don't have unlocked, but I don't know what to do with it. Okay, friends you've talked with are not sure where the mansion itself is located. You have to find the mansion first. A trip to the library may shed some light on it. Let's go ahead and get that extra ally first. So, to the schoolyard. Okay, uh, let's see. Latest gossip. It's been so hard to get any sleep lately. She hasn't come to school since last week. If Triple Zero didn't do those drawings, then who did? Okay, let's see if we can recruit anybody. It sounds strange, but I believe you. Student F. Plus one perception. Doesn't really help us, but doesn't hurt us. Give me a break, so you don't want to join. Sounds strange, but I believe you. Minus one luck. Hey, it doesn't matter. All you are is you're joining us to speed up our actions, because we have fame. Okay. Wondering if I should go ahead and go... see if I can get a weapon. Because I think the pharmacy is more likely to have a knowledge-based weapon. Something like a scalpel. Costs doom, but it's an investment for the future. Uh, don't have one. I could restock for three doom. Probably better to do this earlier rather than later. Oof, plus four reason, but minus two max stamina, and it's addictive. Yeah, don't know about that one. Scalpel! Exactly what I wanted. Sharp, one-handed, knowledge weapon, damage four, speed 80, chance to hit 65. Three funds, we can afford it. Gimme. So, go ahead and equip this. Okay. Investigate the seaside location twice to complete this quest. Go ahead and get this out of the way. The waves lazily, uh, the waves lazily wash on the shore. You take a deep breath. The fresh sea air clears your head. Plus one reason, except we're at max. But hey, it didn't hurt us.
Perhaps you're feasting on a bloated corpse carried to the beach by waves. Search the body, I'm pretty sure, is a skill check. I mean, both of these might be. Because, yeah, this is kind of the thing is... You sort of have to balance out with this particular backstory knowing what the effects are of failing skill checks or knowing ways of getting a... Uh, of doing something without a skill check, I guess. So, let's try and escape. You escape the beach, sure that the crabs won't leave anything but bones minus one reason. You've learned the cliff the mansion was built on is famous for its extensive cave system. You've decided to run some books that might help you. Okay, Shiokawa Herald A and Architect's Journal. An article covers a group of scientists from Tokyo. They were exploring and mapping weird cave formations found in the cliffs. The search of the missing team of scientists continues. The only clue so far is a code written on a cavern wall, 438 hertz. One house owner, however, decided to make use of the cave tunnel. It's a natural concert hall, he claims. Okay. So with that out of the way, let's actually do what we need to do. Hearing an eerie sound coming from behind the door, you decide to check it out. At first glance, the abandoned classroom seems empty. Once your eyes get used to the darkness, you discover an unusual sigil drawn on the floor. Judging by the smoke, someone put out the candles the moment you entered. Uh... Let's pick up the book, maybe? You recognize the sticker on the book. It came from the local library. Plus item. Okay, library book. Use plus ten experience. Long overdue. Absolutely, we'll use that. 